want to do a sound check? Hello again, sports fans. Live from New Oxford. Okay. Yeah. I got that part down. Alongside Brandon Gloriosa. Lynn, how are you, sir? Good. No, 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 you're good. Okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Colonial Stadium. This evening, the high school football game. Tonight, the Los Angeles will play host to the Mustangs in Southwestern. And York Adams in its last week, and Athletic Association, cross the division one match. The YAI Double A emphasizes good sportsmanship from its coaches, players, and fans. This contest is being played for the benefit of the student athletes of these schools. No signs or noise makers are permitted in the stadium. All spectators are asked to provide positive encouragement and support for all participants of today's contest. Any spectators by their actions or behavior interfering with this contest yeah. will be removed from the stadium. Thank you for your cooperation. Hello again, sports fans, alongside Brandon Glorioso. This is Jeff Cook from New Oxford, a battle of unbeaten 2-0 teams as the Colonials host the Mustangs of Southwestern just a few miles down the road. Local bragging rights at stake last week. Gettysburg was the victim as New Oxford won 28-14 after a 40 to one, 41 to nothing decimation of Bermudian Springs. Meanwhile, Southwestern with wins over Dover and Susquehannock. I don't quote me on that. I'm not sure about who they played, but word is that they are very good under their head coach Tony Shermeyer. Meanwhile, what can you say about the job Jason Warner has done in the last five years? He takes over a program coming off of back-to-back. 0 oh, and 10 seasons, and now New Oxford, a team that you can pretty much expect to make a, a postseason appearance, and they seem to be poised to do just that here in 2022. Well, last week, Jet Moore was our player of the week, and uh, we hope to have uh, another set of guests on sports chat coming up on Tuesday. Corey Smith and I will be your host as we talk about the hot ticket issues of the day. Meanwhile, Jet Moore, like I said, he's completing 70% of his passes on the season. So I did talk to Coach Warner. He was a guest along with Jet Moore on our show this past week. And I said, how about a scouting report on Southwestern? He says, well, you know, they're, they're, they're not a Wing T run the football team anymore. They have multiple looks, multiple talents. They're going to throw the ball. Uh, I'm pretty sure Carson Trone is the name they, they told me about a wide out, uh, hard to cover. It'll soon all become quite apparent as the game unfolds. So here we are in week three, coming to you live. Special thanks to our sponsors. We wouldn't be here without them. And these are our gold sponsors with us here tonight. They include... Ira E. Lady, American Legion, post 262 in Biglerville. Special thanks to these brave men and women who served our country in times of war and peace and now give back to our community. Just one example of their Ila Masonary efforts is the new greenhouse project at Biglerville High School. They donated $20,000, which represents 20% of the needed funds. We appreciate the sponsorship of post 262. They're happy to support Canner football in, in uh uh, uh, specifically, but more generally, Adams County and, and beyond football as well. We appreciate the sponsorship of the Post 262, especially thank Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Krista Shara, and my good friends Rick Pelk and Vernon Stein. For those of you at Post 262, we salute you. And special thanks as well to Ketterman Electric, a family-owned business serving Adams County's electrical needs since 1995. Ketterman is located at 2915 Biglerville Road between Gettysburg and Biglerville near the banks of the mighty Conewago. Ketterman specializes in bucket service, generator installation, commercial and residential wiring, and supply and installation of electric car chargers. They are hooked in 
to the wave of the future, specializing in whole house generator installation systems. Ketterman Electrical Services, LLC, voted number one electrician 10 years in a row by Gettysburg Times, pick of the counties. Thanks to all our good friends at Ketterman Electrical Services. And special thanks as well to Mr. G's, Mark and Megan and the crew at Mr. G's, located at Baltimore Street in Gettysburg. Open seven days a week from noon until 9 p.m. Mr. G's has 16 flavors of ice cream, milkshakes, sundaes, homemade waffle cones, and more. The fall special flavor is pumpkin ice cream. Check out the gift shop at Mr. G's. Many great gift ideas, works of art by local artists, jewelry, cool souvenirs, and more. Check out the line of apparel, shirts, and more. It's the official ice cream of high school sports, Mr. G's. And special thanks to Kenny's Marketplace, a gold sponsor for more than two decades. Kenny is 100% employee owned and has superior quality and perishables and world-class customer service. Kenny's carries certified Agus beef with over 40 store-made items daily. Fresh food, friendly folks, friendly folks, you'll find them at Kenny's, serving our local communities with excellence, making customer, our, ser, customer service our top priority since 1959. Kenny salutes his store management team, Ralph at Gettysburg, Charity at Spring Grove, John at Littlestown, Rocky at Tawnytown, Leon at Biglerville. It's my favorite place to shop. Kenny's Market, don't forget your preferred customer card. It's your passport to a world of savings. A shout out to all the frontline workers and all our friends at Kenny's Marketplace. And last but certainly not least, our good friends at your friendly neighborhood, McDonald's. McDonald's is now taking applications for staff, crew, and management. We have scholarships available for staff members and their families who work an average of 15 hours a week. McDonald's offers a very competitive wage for up to $14 an hour, depending on availability and experience. Free meals and discounts. Design your schedule around your lifestyle. Managers get these benefits plus more. Just go online to mchire.com. That's mchire, M-C-H-I-R-E.com. As McDonald's proprietor Emmett Patterson often says, success is not built on wishes, but hard work, risk, sweat, tears, and sacrifice with stores with locations to serve you on Steiner Avenue and York Road in Gettysburg, Cross Keys, New Oxford, Queen Street in Middlestown, and Baltimore Street, Eisenhower Drive, and Carlisle Street in Hanover. See you under the arches, more than 99 billion served. So we are. Uh, on the verge here, just a few minutes away. Gettysburg uh, travels to Boiling Springs tonight where Matt Heiser will try to defeat the program that he coached for many seasons before coming to Gettysburg. Biglerville travels to 2-0, James Buchanan. When's the last time Jimmy Buck started 2-0? And, and here come the Colonials. Well, this program, I talked about Coach Warner and what he's done to turn it around. And a big measure of that is the number of college athletes that graduate from New Oxford and play football at the next level. Abdul Jana graduated a couple years ago. He's now a sophomore at Duquesne, and he leads all of the FCS in receiving. So uh, I think he had eight catches and a touchdown in the first game against Florida State, who's 2-0 playing big boy football. Uh, Duquesne at the what used to be called the 1AA level, the Football Championship Series. I wonder, I wonder what they're going to call it when... Uh, the playoff expands from four to 12 teams, and it is more of a championship series, so maybe they'll rename one of the divisions. But anyway, hats off to Abdul Jana and uh, 
Coach Warner rattled off the names of about 10 other players at the next level, including uh, Torben Akins, who's the brother. Britton Akins had an outstanding game last week against Gettysburg. And I, I heard uh, he was recognized as uh, lineman of the week by the division. Had uh, seven tackles, four tackles for loss, two sacks, something like that. Then he, for good measure, he scored a touchdown on offense. So uh, 21, Britton Akins. Uh, Jet Moore, he has a bevy of receivers. Evan Shriver, uh, three touchdowns in week one. Brennan Holmes, two touchdowns in week two. So Jet Moore, uh, his quarterback stats are out of this world. And this is something, we'll see how this pans out because Southwestern won the toss and they elected to defer and New Oxford is probably saying, hey, great. Uh, the sun, maybe for a short period of time, might be in your eyes when you're de defending the goal to our left. What a view. What a night for football. You have the Pigeon Hills in front of us, the foothills of the Appalachians behind us, the beautiful town of New Oxford, close at hand. And uh, week three, just close to getting underway as it looks like the Mustangs are lining up in, in anticipation of the national anthem, but so now, certainly a good roster size. mentioned rocks, roster size Fairfield unable to keep its commitment to Hamburg this week uh, Hamburg ended up getting a game with Eastern York so that was good for them uh, a lot of injured Green Knights their roster size is 19 strong uh, which is represents less than two squads you can't even really scrimmage they're hoping to be able to have the numbers to take on Biggerville next week Biggerville was kind of in the same situation last season but their, their uh, roster is pretty full now with over 40 players on the squad. So New Oxford will receive tonight's game brought to you by Ira E. Lady, American Legion Post 262, Ketterman Electric, Mr. G's Ice Cream, Kenny's Marketplace, and your friendly neighborhood, McDonald's. Get ready for football. Matt Benzing will kick it away for Southwestern. And it's deep. It's going to be taken at about the seven yard line. Evan Shriver bulls his way out to about the 27. So slot to the near side. New Oxford going right away to up tempo. And Jet Moore looking into the sun to some extent. And uh, well, that was easy. Hard count. Drew Southwestern. Off sides. Off 
five-yard penalty. Yeah, the uh, vociferous student cheering section of New Oxford is just below us. Quarterback draw, Jed Moore into the secondary to the 49. 19 yard carry for Jet Moore and a first down. Shriver in motion to the far side. Carson Heaney split this way. It's Akins. Bulls his way ahead for about four yards. So I, I had Coach Warner on, and they have placards that you know could be dummy placards, or they could be meaningful. Coach Warner also gives hand signals, so are the placards just decoys? Read option, it's Jet Moore again, showing his skills on the, on the ground. Three more yards, two carries, 22, third and four, they go right out of the gun. Akins picks his way. And he looks to be about a yard short. Oh, wow. Akins, the second effort. He got it. It looked like he was going to be stopped. And then he pulled ahead for seven more yards. Plowed the pile forward, and that was big. It looked like Southwestern was going to take over on downs. Just underway here in the first quarter. New Oxford started at its own 27. They've done this all on the ground so far. 35 yards on five carries. This time it's Riley Killen for about three yards. Call it a two yard pickup. Second and eight. Opening drive of the contest. Perfect night for football here in New Oxford. Trips formation to the near side. Moore might put it up for the first time all night. R runs the option. Killen slips for a few, got about four. So it'll be third and five. Special thanks to the RE Lady American Legion Post 262 in Biggerville. These brave men and women served our country in times of war and peace and now give back to our community through their philanthropic projects like the new greenhouse for Biggerville High School. We appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262. Again, Moore ran the quarterback draw, trying to find a seam. And uh, it's going to bring up, he, he got back to the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be fourth and six to try a 45-yard field goal. I don't think so. Britt Nakins returns to the lineup. Looks like Colonials would go for it here on fourth and six. Appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262 and especially thank Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Krista Shara, and my good friends 
Rick Pelkin, Vernon Stein. Complete out here to the near side to Carson Heaney. And looks like he's got it. Eight yards to Carson Heaney for the first down. So Jet Moore completes. Oh. Well, this, this changes everything. So holding is the call, 10, year, 10 yards. They'll march it off against. New Oxford. And now, I mean, now you're at the 41 yard line. It looks like New Oxford's gonna punt it. I like this decision by Coach Warner. I really do. Idris Amenovic to punt it away. Jason Webb deep for the Mustangs. Fourth and about 18. Line of scrimmage, the 29. No, it's a 41 yard punt. So Southwestern will start at its own 20. First and 10. A special thank, special thanks to gold sponsor Ketterman Electrical Services LLC. Three receivers set to the near side. Looks like there are only two defenders over here. They fake the jet sweep, and Max Weisensale carries for no gain. Three receivers set, three receivers set once again. Carson Trone in the slot. Complete. Good for 11 yards and a first down to Declan Smith. Declan Smith. Good old Irish name, it's coming back. Actually, it never went away. Declan Smith on the catch. From Max Weisensale. First and ten Mustangs. Play action complete with running room. Good for 14 yards to Damon Ogden Jr. First and ten. Mustangs come out throwing. I told you this was no more longer a wing T team. That's ancient history for this unit. Weisensale keeps it on the read option and picks up six. Ketterman Electric located at 2915 Bigelow Road between Gettysburg and Bigelowville near the banks of the mighty Conewago. Telephone 717-677-0066. Serving Adams County for more than two decades, a family owned business specializing in bucket service, generator installation, commercial and residential wiring, and supply and installation of electric car chargers, specializing in whole house generator installation systems. One yard for Cohen Bull. Fire, 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 fire. 
So it's third and about two. Noah Bankert splits to the near side with Trone in the slot. Weisensteel looking this way. Tip and it ends up in the hands of Trone. Gain of seven. And the Mustangs with another first down. Pullback. Whoa, whoa. And he got <laughs> Robbie Sterner. He got a yard. Second and nine. Special thanks as well to gold sponsor, Mr. G's, located on Baltimore Street in Gettysburg. Open seven days a week from noon until 9 p.m. Second and nine, Trown in motion. Rise and sail, out pattern to Banker. Good for five yards. About six, third and three. Tackle on play, number two, Third and three, third about four. Mr. G's has 16 flavors of ice cream, milkshakes, sundaes, homemade waffle cones, and more. Special flavor is pumpkin ice cream for the fall. Check out the gift shop too. Wise and Sale looks. Fires, complete, one man to beat. And he slips out of the tackle and scores. Damon Ogden, 35 yards. For the touchdown. Eighty yards on the march. Damon Ogden, 35 yards strike from Max Weisensail. Two twenty-four to go. Kick is up and good by Matt Benzing. So Southwestern strikes first. Two twenty-four to go. In the first. A lot of time off the clock, too. Methodical drive. I mean, these teams kind of have mirror images. No huddle, offense, precise passing to an impressive cadre of receivers, sure handed, yards after the catch. This could be the game of the year. Josh Martin checking in. Hopefully, with good news. Uh, this looks and sounds great. It should be a terrific game. Thanks, Josh. So far, checking all the boxes from the 15. It's Brennan Holmes. He's going to be hemmed in at the 22. And that's where the Colonials will start. So, you know, the first drive, they tried to establish the ground game and ended up punting. So let's see if they come out throwing. That's what Max Weisensale and the Mustangs did. Special thanks to Kenny's Marketplace, my favorite place to shop. Don't forget your preferred customer card. It's your passport to a world of savings at Kenny's. Kenny salutes its management team, Ralph at Gettysburg, Charity at Spring Grove, John at Littlestown, Rocky at Tawny Town, and Leon at Biglerville. A shout out to all the frontline workers at Kenny's. A dart by Jet Moore, his first completion of the day. It goes to Holmes for about six yards. Kenny's is 100% employee owned and has superior quality and perishables and world class customer service. Kenny's carries 40 store made items daily.
specials every Friday. Fresh food, friendly folks. You'll find them at Kenny's, making the customer our top priority since 1959. Nick Moore keeps the ball off the left side for 14. It'll bring him about third and two. Brought down by number 18, Andre Eppert. Chet Moore got about two yards on the carry. He's already carried the ball four times with just one pass attempt. And now it's a third and two. A minute 15 and counting to go in the opening quarter. A quarter brought to you by our gold sponsor, McDonald's. McDonald's is now taking applications for staff, crew, and management. We have scholarships for staff members and their families who work an average of 15 hours a week. Moore pitches it. Akins picks up the necessary yardage on the option. So the Warrior or the uh, Colonials move the chains on the ground. McDonald's offers a very competitive wage of up to $14 an hour. Depending on availability and experience, free meals and discounts, design your schedule around your lifestyle. Be creative. Managers get these benefits plus more. More to throw. Complete. Caught out here on the near side by Cameron Herring. Good for seven yards. So second and three. Just go online to mchire.com for details. That's mchire.com. As McDonald's proprietor Emmett Patterson often says, success is not built on wishes, but hard work, risk, sweat, tears, and sacrifice. Locations to serve you on Steinware Avenue in York Road in Gettysburg, Cross Keys, New Oxford, Queen Street in Littlestown, and Baltimore Street, Eisenhower Drive, and Carlisle Street. In Hanover, see you under the arches. Britton Aikens for another five yards. That's five carries for 22 yards. And New Oxford moves the chains. That'll do it for one quarter. Not a lot of uh, stoppages. Both teams moving the ball. And very. There hasn't been an incomplete pass yet by either team. So they switch ends. New Oxford will have a first and 10 at its own 45. Special thanks to our gold sponsor for tonight, Ketterman's Electrical Service. Services LLC, located at 2915 Biglerville Road between Gettysburg and Biglerville near the banks of the Conewago. Telephone 717-677-0066. A family-owned business serving Adams County's electrical needs since 1995. Bucket service, generator installation, commercial and residential wiring, and supply and installation of electric car chargers, the wave of the future. Specializing in whole house generator installation, voted number one electrician, 10 years in a row by Electric Times, pick of the counties. It's Ketterman's Electrical Services. And special thanks as well to Ira E. Lady, American Legion, Post 262. In Biglerville, these fine men and women served their country in times of war and peace and now give back to our community. Just one example of their charitable efforts. The Greenhouse Project at Biglerville High School. It cost 100000 Post 262 has paid one-fifth of the cost. We appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262 and your support of Biggerville and athlete, athletes throughout Adams County. Jet Moore airs it out down the field. Brennan home goes to the house. 55 yards, Brennan Holmes out jumped 
the defender. His third touchdown in the last two weeks. That was more of a fly pattern than a seam route. So much for the ground game. 10 seconds in, and Amenovic a chance to tie. What is there, celebration? What's the call here? I don't know. 55 yards, Brennan Holmes. Let's see what the penalty's all about. Well, offsides against the Colonials. Should still be a chip shot from Amenovic, although now it's like a 25-yard field goal. Kick is up and good. Could be the game of the year, who knows? This is a dandy so far, both teams. Impressive. We appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262 and especially thank Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Krista Shara, and my good friends Rick Pelk and Vernon Stein. For all those at Post 262, we salute you. Squib kick. Nice return out to about the 32 yard line. Damon Ogden. And a special thanks to the official ice cream of high school sports. It's Mr. G's. Mr. G's is located on Baltimore Street in Gettysburg, open seven days a week from noon until 9 p.m. Mr. G's has 16 flavors of ice cream, milkshakes, sundaes, homemade waffle cones, and more. Check out the special fall flavor pumpkin ice cream. And the gift shop, too. Many great gift ideas. The works of local artists on display. Jewelry, cool souvenirs, and more. Check it out. Incomplete. Defected at the line. Was that Aikens? Well, there's the first incompletion of the night for either team. Wise and Sale had been 5 for 5 for 72 yards and a score to that point. First, and, or rather second and 10. Read option and Weisensale, maybe he should have given it to the running back. Nice stop out there by Elias Ernst. Three carries, six yards for Weisensale. You know, so maybe the Mustangs have flipped the script here. They are now a pass dominant team. So far, five carries for just eight yards. They send Noah Banker split to the far side with Carson Trone in the slot. Third and 10. Wisensale rolls left, trying to buy time. Intercepted. Intercepted. Wisensale overthrew the intended receiver. And it's Amatovic with a pick. What would you say? The band is excited. So New Oxford starts in Mustang territory 
at the southwestern 46 yard line. Ten forty six to go here. In the second quarter, seven seven, a thriller. Left side <laughs> running room. <laughs> That was Riley Killen for four yards. Colonials slowing the pace just a tad. Oh, my favorite place to shop. It's Kenny's Market. Kenny's is 100% employee owned and has superior quality and perishables and world class customer service. Car Kenny's carries certified Angus beef. Oh, Mustangs return the favor. Still on his feet. And finally, Corral, Cohen Bull with the interception. And a 40 yard return to the 20. That was lobbed up there. Jet Moore puts touch on the ball, but that was overthrown. And Cohen Bull made him pay. So Southwestern starts at the new Oxford 19. Wise and Sale out of the gun. Hands it off, right side. Not much there for Robbie Sterner. So Sterner's had about a half yard on each carry. Holding Crabs in on the tackle. Nine and a half to go here in the second half. Fresh food, friendly folks, you'll find them at Kenny's. We're serving our customers has been a top priority since 1959. Wise and Sale looking to get it to Trone, incomplete. Now that was uh, Banker, incomplete, nearly picked off. Good double coverage. By the Colonials, third and nine from the 19. Call it the 18 yard line. Third and nine from the 18. Trone in the slot to the near side with Damon Ogden. Wise and Sale looking this way. Incomplete. Incomplete. Alatovic wrestled it away. Fourth and nine, do they go for it? Uh, he tried to get it to Trone. Or was that, uh, that was Ogden, I guess. It was Ogden, and maybe they're gonna try the field goal here. It looks like Matt Benzing will try a 35 yard field goal from the near hash mark. So this is, you know, a, an area where a right footed kicker can push it wide left. But Benzing bangs it off the scoreboard, splits the uprights, and the field goal is good. So three points off the turnover. With 9.05 to play, 10-7 Southwestern. Kenny salutes its management team, Ralph at Gettysburg, Charity at Spring Grove, John at Littlestown, Rocky at Tawny Town, and Leon at Biglerville. Don't forget your preferred customer card. It's your passport to a world of savings. A shout out to all the frontline front line workers during the long pandemic and all our friends at Kenny's Marketplace.
Killen's going to let this go into the end zone, and New Oxford will take over at its own 20. 9.05 to go. Thanks to our gold sponsor, McDonald's, now taking applications for staff and crew. McDonald's has scholarships for staff members and family members who work an average of 15 hours a week. We offer a very competitive wage at McDonald's, up to $14 an hour, depending on availability and experience. Free meals and discounts. Schedule, design your schedule around your lifestyle. Be creative. Managers get these benefits plus more. Just go online to mchire.com. That's mchire.com. As McDonald's proprietor Emmett Patterson often says, success is not built on wishes, but hard work, risk, sweat, tears, and sacrifice. Chet Moore pitches it. Down the near sideline. Britton Aikens for first down yardage. Eleven yards on the carry. Let's see if there's, there's I didn't see a flag, but yeah, maybe there is a flag. So they'll go half to Let's go from the point of the hold. And they'll march it back 10 yards. Second holding penalty of the night for New Oxford. McDonald's has locations to serve you. That's on Steinberg Avenue, York Road in Gettysburg, Cross Keys, New Oxford, Queen Street in Middlestown, and Baltimore Street, Eisenhower Drive, and Carlisle Street in Hanover. See you under the arches over 99 billion served at McDonald's. Jet Moore, first and 13. And a timeout, Time Southwestern. Gettysburg leads. 14 nothing. Jaden Johnson, 45 yards for a touchdown. Anvil Cleona, seven. Littlestown, six. So now it's uh, Gettysburg, 14 nothing over Boiling Springs. 90 yard drive capped by a Cody Furman. Touchdown plunge. Thank you, Gettysburg Times sports editor Josh Martin. Well, uh, if you want to read more about the game, I'll be writing the story for the Times, and uh, Josh Martin puts it all together, does a great job. Read about your local teams every Saturday morning in the Gettysburg Times. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my uh, new grandson, Cassian George Cook, aged two days. Born in Stamford, Connecticut on Wednesday, the ch son Chad and his wife Deanna were very proud of everybody. Brennan Holmes, nowhere to go that time. So Holmes loses two yards on that catch. Driver hasn't been targeted yet. So either he's had blanket coverage or, you know, Chet Moore really does a great job of using all of his receivers. So maybe right on cue. Here's Evan Shriver goes in motion to the far side. Holmes splits the defenders. And they're saying he was out of bounds. At the 26, gain of eight. Holmes was off to the races, but stepped on the sideline.
Again, Holmes. First down yardage. Gain of 10. Play action, more incomplete, threw it out of bounds. <laughs> Phillies and the Nationals scoreless in the second inning. Moore with Akins, the sidecar. Evan Shriver split to the near side, unbalanced line. And they run it to Akins. Tries to get behind his blocker. It looks like he has enough for the first down. Seventh first down for New Oxford. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. Brought to you by Ira E. Lady, American Legion Post 262 in Biggerville. Ketterman Electrical Services, LLC. The official ice cream of high school sports. It's Mr. G's, my favorite place to shop. Kenny's Marketplace and your friendly neighborhood McDonald's. First and ten. They give it to Aikens. Twists ahead for about five. Second and ten. Ten seven, Southwestern, in case you just joined us. Gettysburg leads Boiling Springs up at the Bubblers stomping ground. Coach Heiser would love to win that game. He used to coach Boiling Springs. Boiling Springs was off to a 2 0 start. Manhandled Littlestown and Bermudian. Second and five. Riley Killen wasn't a horse collar, it was just a shirt tackle, very effective. So Killen for no gain, and it's he might have lost the yard. So it's third and six, seven minutes to go in the half. Next week we'll be back at Gettysburg. East Pennsboro comes to town. Will the Warriors be two and one, keeping their postseason aspirations intact? Killen bounces outside, but only gets about three yards. So, I, you know, it looks like New Oxford, they probably should punt it. Fourth and three. Still 6.44 to go. In the half, they're gonna go for it. Wow, this could be a big moment in the game right here. Shriver, maybe they're just gonna try to hard count and draw Southwestern offsides. Let's see what materializes here. Southwestern looks like they're not going to fall for it. And this is a great ploy. And now uh, New Oxford calls a timeout. Nothing to lose there. And now they set up plenty of time to set up their punt. This is a game that's going to be decided in the second half, no doubt about it. 10 7, Southwestern on a strength of a 35 yard Matt Benzing field goal. And that's the difference right now. A couple of uh, turnovers, the 40 yard interception return by Cameron, or uh, by Cohen Bull looms large right now. That got the Mustangs in position for the field goal. 
So a couple of very accurate senior quarterbacks basically given a clinic here tonight. Line of scrimmage is the Southwestern 48. Amatovic booms the kick and great coverage. Down at the one yard line. You know now. So they start at their own one yard line. Now the ball never got into the end zone, but the, the player who ultimately down at the one, he was in the end zone. So I think in the NFL, that would have been a touchback. I'm not sure of the, you know, there's some referee in the crowd who could probably straighten it out, but we don't have a, a referee on call like uh, the college and pro games. We're one camera shoot, so uh, our staff is somewhat limited. So it's first and 10 at about the one foot line. This is dangerous territory for Wisensale, and he's taking it in the end zone, a shotgun. He's going to run it. Did he get out? He maybe, he got maybe half a yard just trying to wedge out something. But that's got to be nerve wracking when you're taking a shotgun snap three yards deep and you're trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, Wisensale did a little more than that. He got a yard. And now it's second and nine and a half with six minutes to go in the half, 10-7. Southwestern, you're watching high school football here on Community Media Sports. Brandon Glorioso providing camera and tech. I'm Jeff Cook. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to Josh Martin back at HQ, Gettysburg Times, for giving us some scores. Nothing doing the staunch right side of the line. Robbie Sterner again, stuffed for no gain. Well, that was Bull on the carry. He got nothing. Well, call, give him a yard. Third and eight from the three. Do they try to go to Trone, get some pos a possession first down, or they load it up for Ogden? Wisensale throws it from the end zone. It's tipped. And somehow Bull still got it, but it looks like he's, does he have the first down? What a play. Somehow, he not only made the catch, he gets the first down. What an effort by Cohen Bull. Clock stopped, went out of bounds, they reset the chains. And 4.55 left in this one. Rise and sail. Second effort gets, oh, did they, did they fumble the football? They're saying he was down. Off the left side, still on his feet, dragging bodies in his wake. It's Robbie Sterner and a little extracurricular activity going on. 
Eight yards for Sterner. Will the, which way will the penalty go? Little extracurricular activity out there. Referee sorting it out. James Buchanan, eight, Biglerville, nothing. Full moon, what a shot, you know, pigeon. When we have a break, we'll have uh, the full moon, over, it's like a super moon over the Pigeon Hills. That's quite a shot. We'll get it at halftime. Uh, we'll have Brandon zoom in, or maybe if there's a timeout. First down, Southwestern. The penalty goes against New Oxford. 15 yarder. So instead, they started at their own one. Now they're out to the 37, still with almost four minutes left. Wise and sale. Complete. Second and five after the five yard catch by uh, two men in motion. Only in Canada. Not in the US of A. So that's going to cost Southwestern five yards. Three oh eight to go now. It'll be second and ten. Wow! And now that I thought the moon would be setting, but now it's rising. I'm not a man of science, but I know football. Second and ten. Complete. Little re wide receiver screen. What a stop. Joe Reinemann. Joe Reinemann, but pickup of 11 yards. First and 10, 230 and counting. Play action, complete! To the 33 yard line, first and 10. Gain of 15 yards. Damon Ogden Jr. Not much there. Bull got about two. Second and eight. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. Bigelbell on the board, they trailed James Buchanan, 8-7. Read option, Wisensale keeps it. They got maybe a yard. Second and eight, timeout. 
There's a flag down. Let's see what this is all about. If this is a holding, it could be. They could get Southwestern out of field goal range, but still plenty of time. Personal foul. So that really, uh, let's see what happens. It goes against, and now the clock is running. A minute 28, line of scrimmage at the New Oxford 43. Second and 23. So the main thing, if you're Southwestern, you don't want to turn it over. You're going to get the ball to start the second half. Special thanks to our gold sponsors tonight. Post 262, Ketterman Electric, Mr. G's, Kenny's Marketplace, and McDonald's. Time out. Southwestern, they have one left and a minute and four to talk about it. Now, uh, Boiling Springs has come back to tie Gettysburg, 14 all. So the bubbler is not going quietly into the night. Third and 23 with a minute 24 to go. Phillies lead 1-0 in the top of the fourth. RBI base hit by Dalton Guthrie. His first major league hit. Empty backfield for Weisensail. Hits Ogden. Still on his feet. Got most of the yardage back. 16 yards on the catch and run. Fourth and six. Well, now they put, looks like they put time back on the clock. Well, instead of trying a 45-yard field goal, they're gonna, looks like they're gonna go for it, fourth and six. And they're gonna try to, maybe they'll try to draw New Oxford offside, and maybe they're still thinking field goal. They have a timeout left. Little chess match out here tonight. Complete. And that's going to be first down, eight yard catch to Noah Banker. And that's going to, it looks like it's going to be a, either a late hit or a targeting or something bad for New Oxford. Face mask, it's a face mask. 
So it's going to go half the distance. Call it a nine yard penalty against New Oxford. First and 10. First and goal at the nine with 32.8 seconds to go. This is a key critical juncture, needless to say. saying 36 seconds so they put time back on yeah. Seth Lady with a 56 yard touchdown run and Biggerville leads James Buchanan 14 to 8 Tanners look to move to 2 and 1 Bull stretches and reaches the end zone. Cohen Bull with a nine yard touchdown run. A 99 yard drive. Nine yard run for Cohen Bull. With 29 seconds to go. Benzing's kick is good. He somehow squeaked it over that lower left hand corner. Seventeen seven Southwestern by 10 with 29.1 seconds to go. I remember Southwestern gets the ball to start to start the third quarter. Full moon makes people do crazy things. Look at that rooting section across the way. Not many empty seats. This is a big night of football. Southwestern looking to go three and zero. New Oxford needs to overcome a 10 point deficit or they will fall to two and one. Still a half of football to decide this thing. Well, they better fall on it. Well, I think, you know, I mean, I, they might just kneel down here because a turnover would be beyond disastrous. Catastrophic. So Jet Moore may say, hey, we're just taking a knee. We need to get some stops on defense. We're so close, you know, I mean, a couple of uh, penalties, clutch pickups by Southwestern, a 99 yard drive. Cohen Bull goes the last nine by himself. Jet Moore out of the gun. They're going to hand it off. Aikens gets about three. And this will do it. Special thanks to our gold sponsors, Post 262, Catamaran Electric, Mr. G's, Kenny's, and McDonald's. Stay tuned for the second half. At the break, it's the Mustangs of Southwestern 17, New Oxford Colonial 7. You're watching high school football on Colonial Media Sports. And check out that moon over the Pigeon Hills whenever Brandon has the opportunity. Beautiful.
Whenever, yeah. We're back for the second half. New Oxford will kick it off. They trail by 10. Both teams 2 0. When we started action here this evening. So Southwestern will receive the second half kickoff. The winner goes to 3 and 0. Oh. The winner goes to 3 and 0. The winner goes to 3 and 0. The winner goes to 3 and 0. I don't know why I can't. The winner goes to 3 and 0. The winner goes to 3 and 0. And we're underway here in the second half. Good stick by Carson Heaney. It'll be first and ten for the Mustangs from their own 36 yard line. First and ten, New Oxford at its own 36, or uh, Southwestern rather, own 36 yard line. Play action, wise and sail, airs it out. Incomplete. Overthrew Damon Ogden. Second and ten. Special thanks to our gold sponsors for tonight's game. Ketterman Electrical Services LLC, located at 2915 Biglerville Road between Gettysburg and Biglerville. Second and 10. Play action, wise and sale, the throw, he's got a man. Complete for first down yardage, gain of 13 to Noah Banker. They're saying that was number nine. Jackson Hirsch. We see a screen pass. It Somehow turns into positive yardage, seven yards. Bull on the grab. Second and three, just underway here in the third quarter. Wise and sale on a planned run, got about two yards. Oh, Ketterman Electrical Services has been providing Adams County citizens with electrical wiring service. It's a family owned business. Since 1995, bucket service, generator installation, commercial residential wiring, and supply and installation of electric car chargers, specializing in whole house generator installation. Voted number one electrician 10 years in a row by Gettysburg Times. Pick of the counties is Ketterman 
Electrical Services. Third and a yard. Oh, it looked like movement. And it's illegal motion, backfield in motion is gonna cost the Mustangs five yards. Special thanks as well to Ari and Lady, American Legion Post 262 in Bigelville. These brave men and women served our country in times of war and peace, and now they give back to our community, the Bigelville community and beyond. An example of the Greenhouse Project at Bigelville High School. We appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262, and especially thank Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Krista Shara, my good friends Rick Pelk and Vernon Stein. For all of those of you at Post 262, we salute you. Third and six. Rise and sail. Complete. Good for 10 yards to Dick Meyer. And another first down. Wise and Sale unofficially 168 yards passing. So the run pass balance for Southwestern skewed heavily toward the air game in contravention to the tradition in years past. This is this is not your uh, your father's wing T offense. Weisensail throwing it all over the yard, fakes a pass and gets about six yards, making seven. Special thanks to all our friends at Mr. G's, Mark, Megan, McLean, and the gang. Mr. G's located at Baltimore Street in Gettysburg. Second and three. Mr. G's open seven days a week from noon until 9 p.m. 16 flavors of ice cream, milkshakes, sundaes, homemade waffle cones, and more. Check out the special fall flavor, pumpkin ice cream, and the gift shop at Mr. G's too. Many great gift ideas, works of local artists on display, jewelry, and cool souvenirs. Incomplete. Knocked away by the Colonial defense. So it's third and a long three, 8.09 to go in the third. Special thanks to Kenny's Marketplace. It's my favorite place to shop. Don't forget your preferred customer card, your passport to a world of savings. Kenny's is 100% employee owned and has superior quality and perishables, world-class customer service, making the customer our top priority since 1959. Fresh food, friendly folks, you'll find them at Kenny's, serving our local communities with excellence for over 50 years. Over 60 years, actually. Weisensale to throw it on third and four. He's got a man. Bull somehow avoids the tackle and picks up eight tough yards. Driver on the stop. He's been silent on offense. So Southwestern moves the chains again. They've got a first and 10 at the New Oxford 24. Colonial's got a guard against being discouraged. Kenny's uh, salutes his management team, Ralph at Gettysburg, Charity at Spring Grove, John at Littlestown, Rocky at Tony Town, and Leon at Biggerville. Off the left side is Austin Rollman. You got a couple. Well, 10 yards. So he got two yards on the carry, but it's a 10 yard penalty. Seven twenty-eight to go in the third. New Oxford needs a splash play. That helps the cause. It's going to be first and 16, it looks like. I don't think the scoreboard is right yet. First and 19 on the 24. It's actually closer to the 
23 yard line. That's a 33, my bad. All right. First down and long. Three receivers to the near side. Weisensail hit as he threw. Great pressure from Reinemann, and he forces the incompletion. Second and 19 it is. Special thanks to your friendly neighborhood McDonald's locations to serve you on Steinmere Avenue and York Road in Gettysburg, Cross Keys, New Oxford, Queen Street, Middlestown, and Baltimore Street, Eisenhower Drive, and Carlisle Street in Hanover. Second and 19. Wisen intercepted. Wisen sale. Put it up, hit again, pressured again. And Amenovic with the pick, his second of the game. So that's the splash play I was talking about. Now they're 90 yards away. They need to try to get on the board. 6.47 to go. McDonald's is now taking applications for staff and crew. They have scholarships available for workers who perform an average of 15 hours a week. Very competitive wages for up to $14 an hour. Jet Moore out of the gun. Has running room, scrambling. First down yardage and Moore stretches out 16 yards on the carry. There are no flags. So they stay in the up-tempo offense. Free meals and discounts for staff. Uh, design your schedule around your lifestyle. Be creative. Managers get these benefits plus more. Just go online to mchire.com. Big running room up the middle for Aikens. Britton Aikens for 12 yards. And another first down. So out of the gate, New Oxford tried to establish the running game. And maybe to the detriment of the passing game, but now maybe that balance is starting to come around. Aiken's getting the job done. <coughs> He's now 59 yards on 10 carries. Evan Shriver's first catch of the night, good for about six yards. Second and five. As McDonald's proprietor Emmett Patterson often says, success is not built on wishes, but hard work, risk, sweat, tears, and sacrifice. See you under the arches. Over 99 billion served at McDonald's. So the placard display, whether it means anything or not, Coach Warner's not going to tell us. So Aikens, his second effort gets about four. It's going to be third and about a yard. Third down and a yard. Looks like about a foot to go. No, they're saying, what did they say, first down? They, what, the chain gangs, now they're saying it was a first down. A little confusing there. So give Aikens five yards and great second effort to move the chains. Fox being very deliberate, still here in the third quarter with four minutes to go. 
New Oxford. Wow, Susquehanna leads Bermuda 7 0. Get this score. Greencastle 35. Delone, zip. Ouch. Time out on the field. Special thanks to Mr. G's, Mark and Megan McLean, and all our friends at Mr. G's, located on Baltimore Street in Gettysburg. It's the official ice cream of high school sports. Open seven days a week from noon until 9 p.m. 16 flavors of ice cream, milkshakes, sundaes, homemade waffle cones, and more. Check out the gift shop. Many great gift ideas, the works of local artists, jewelry, cool souvenirs, and a lot more. Apparel, too, at Mr. G's gift shop. Jen Moore got about three yards on the ground. Four minutes plus to go in the third. New Oxford trails by 10. The big pick by Am Amatovic. And uh, New Oxford trying to turn it around and drive 90 yards. Special thanks as well to Ketterman Electrical Services, located at 2915 Bigelow Road. Telephone 717-677-0066. Moore keeps it and finds a seam. Got about five. Third and two. Third and two. 3.20 to go in the third. Ketterman Electrical, Electrical Services, a family-owned business, has been serving Adams County's electrical needs since 1995. Third and two. Moore guns it out for the first down yardage <laughs> to Holmes. Seven yards to Brennan Holmes. His sixth catch of the night. Britton Aiken's got about four more. Third and, or second and six, rather. At Ketterman Electrical Service, they specialize in bucket service, generator installation, commercial and residential wiring, and supply and installation of electrical car chargers. The vanguard of the future, specializing in whole house generator installation as well. More to throw, incomplete. Threw it behind the intended receiver, Brennan Holmes. Voted number one electrician 10 years in a row by Gettysburg Times pick of the counties. It's Ketterman Electrical Services. And special thanks as well to the Ira E. Lady American Legion Post 262 in Biglerville, and here's a costly penalty for New Oxford, 10 yards for holding. So now New Oxford has its own second and 19. It's more like second and 18, we'll call it. That's what the scoreboard has. So second and 18, hats off to Southwestern. They've played very well here tonight. Moore, incomplete. 
Carson Heaney unable to or, uh, Carson Heaney unable to come up with it. Or not, are they saying he caught it? No, he didn't catch it. It's third and eighteen. Two oh one to go here in the third quarter. Special thanks to your friendly neighborhood McDonald's. More double pumps. Airs it out just beyond the grasp of the intended receiver. And fourth down and well, your defense has to come up here. They're gonna punt it away again. Brennan Holmes couldn't quite flag that long throw. And Amenovic in to punt it. He's had a Quite an impactful game. Got the punt down to the one yard line, only problem. Southwestern drove the length of the football field, 99 yards to go up by 10, and that's where we stand. Fair catch at the 11. Fifty-four yard punt. No, Forty-four yard punt. So the Colonials need to stop. Southwestern starts at its own. Now what? Okay, so that penalty was against Southwestern. Well, they're going to kick it again. Let's see what this is. No, they, they, they declined the penalty. So Southwestern will start at its own 11 yard line. I like that. I like that call by Coach Warner. 150 to go. It. Be oh, so it is a 10 yard penalty added on like post possession. So they started their own 21. So never mind. Wise and sale, empty backfield. Miscommunication. And he's going to lose a yard. The motion man collided with Wisensale. That was Sam Dickmeyer. And Wisensale uses, loses a yard. So second and 11. Time starting to be significant here. A minute 25 to go in the third quarter. The third quarter brought to you by your friendly neighborhood McDonald's. Rise and sail. Complete. Still on his feet for first down yardage. Cade Baumgartner on the reception. So Weisensale has really spread it around. First and ten. Play action. Weisensale running with the football. Got about eight yards, maybe nine. And this takes us inside a minute to go. Well, McDonald's is now taking applications for staff and crew. 
scholarships available for those who work an average of 15 hours a week, a very competitive wage up to $14 an hour depending on availability and experience, free meals and discounts, design your schedule around your lifestyle, be creative. Managers get these benefits plus more. Just go online to mchire.com. That's mchire.com as McDonald's proprietor Emmett Patterson often says, success is not built on wishes, but hard work, risk, sweat, tears, and sacrifice. Locations to serve you on Steinmeier Avenue and York Road in Gettysburg, Cross Keys in New Oxford, Queen Street in Littlestown, and Baltimore Street, Eisenhower Drive, and Carlisle Street in Hanover, over 99 billion served. See you under the arches at McDonald's. And special thanks to Kenny's Marketplace, my favorite place to shop. Kenny's salutes its management teams, Ralph at Gettysburg Charity at Spring Grove, John at Littlestown, Rocky at Tawny Town, and Leon at Biggerville. My favorite place to shop, don't forget your preferred customer card. It's your passport to a world of savings. Kenny's is 100% employee owned and has superior quality and personals and world class customer service. Fresh food, friendly folks, you'll find them at Kenny's. Making the customer our top priority since 1959. Gettysburg now <laughs> leads 28-14 over Boiling Springs on a Brady Heiser keeper. Seth Lady, 151 yards for Biglerville against Jimmy Buchanan. Lady, a couple of long scoring runs. Canners back in front, 21-14. So some exciting finishes around the area. Thanks to Josh Martin for all the scores here on Community Media Sports on a Friday night. One quarter to go, no scoring in the third. And uh, Southwestern would like nothing better than to wedge out another long drive and put it in the end zone and maybe put a, put a lid on this game. New Oxford though, they, can, they have big play potential. They need to stop here though, second and a yard. Wise and Sale in the gun. Both teams constantly in shotgun formation. First down yardage and more for Austin Rollman. Now we are underway here in the first fourth quarter. And uh, player down for Southwestern. Looks like a cramp. You know, the way they're working on the leg it could be a cramp. Anyway, a chance to thank our gold sponsors for tonight's contest. They include Ira E. Lady, American Legion Post 262 in Biglerville. These brave men and women have served their country in times of war and peace, and now they give back to the local Biggerville community and beyond, helping to finance the Greenhouse Project at Biggerville High School. We appreciate the sponsorship of Post 262, the support of Biggerville Athletics and athletes throughout Adams County and York County. Especially, we thank Commander Gene Schaefer, Manager Krista Shara, my good friends Rick Pelk and Vernon Stein. For all those of you at Post 262, we salute you. And Ketterman Electrical Services, LLC, 2915 Biggerville Road, telephone 717-677-0066, serving Adams County for since 1995, a family-owned business specializing in bucket service, gener generator installation, and more after this. Bull, right side, still on his feet. And apparently he stepped out somewhere on the sideline after about a six yard pickup.
Chatterman does generator installation, commercial and residential wiring, and supply and installation of electrical car chargers, the vanguard of the future. Specializing in whole house generator installation and voted number one electrician 10 years in a row by Gettysburg Times pick of the counties, it's Ketterman Electrical Services. And the official ice cream of high school sports, it's Mr. G's. Second and six. New back into the game, close to first down yardage. Got about five yards. Luca Dorenzo. And now they're saying he got the first down. Sixteen first downs for Southwestern. You know, so this is uh, Coach Warner talked about using the pass to set up the run. Well, that's what Southwestern's done, and now they're finding some running room here late in the contest. 11-19 to go. Wisensale on a planned run gets about nine more. Southwestern being very careful with the football. Special thanks to Kenny's Marketplace. Locations to serve you in Spring Grove, Littlestown, Tawnytown, Biglerville, and the flagship store in Gettysburg. Specials every Friday. Kenny's is 100% employee owned and has superior quality in perishables and world class customer service. Second in the yard. Wise and Sale keeps it again. And he got three yards and a first down. Seventeenth first down of the night. Timeout, New Oxford. They want to burn a timeout here, regroup their defense. No, I thought they called a timeout. Apparently not. First and ten. Clock still running down near the ten minute mark. Kenny's has over 40 store made items, fresh food friendly folks. You'll find them at Kenny's, making the customer our top priority since 1959. First and 10, wise and sale. Pick a hole! Alan Tovic, he was thinking pick six. He jumped the route and couldn't make the catch. Second and ten. Wow, that was. Whew. That was. He, he could have had his third pick of the night. Second and ten. Bull off the right side. Bull running hard. He's got another first down. Well, Weisensale right now, look at, he's got player of the game honors. First and 10. Another first down. Special thanks to your friendly neighborhood McDonald's locations to serve you. Steimer Avenue and York Road in Gettysburg, Queen Street in Littlestown, Cross Keys, New Oxford, and Baltimore Street, Eisenhower Drive, and Carlisle Street in Hanover. McDonald's is now taking applications for its staff and management. They've got scholarships available and have a very competitive wage for up to $14 an hour, depending on your availability and experience. Free meals and discounts. Design your schedule around your lifestyle. Be creative. Now this time, it was a timeout for Southwestern. Managers get these benefits plus more at McDonald's. Just go online to mchire.com for details. That's M-C-H-I-R-E, mchire, 
Patterson.com. As McDonald's proprietor Emmett Patterson often says, success is not built on wishes, but hard work, risk, sweat, tears, and sacrifice. See you under the arches, over 99 billion served at McDonald's. Of course, it's not just cheeseburgers at McDonald's, breakfast, coffee, on and on with the menu, so. Like I said, see you under the arches. And Goldenville Gal thinking of appliance at McDonald's. <laughs> Southwestern burned a timeout. Both teams have two remaining. 9.03 to go. Colonials desperately need a turnover. Bull. All the way to the end zone. 18 yards and a touchdown for Cohen Bull, his second of the night. Benzing will try the uh, extra point. Kick is up and good. Well, Ox has its work cut out for him. Just under nine minutes to go. Special thanks to our gold Sponsors, RE Lady, American Legion Post 262 in Biggerville, Ketterman Electrical Services, LLC, Mr. G's Ice Cream, Baltimore Street and Gettysburg, Kenny's Marketplace, my favorite place to shop, and your friendly neighborhood McDonald's. Thank you one and all for your outstanding support here on a Friday night game of the week. Twenty-four seven Southwestern. Out to the thirty-one. Nice return for Evan Shriver. He's been cutting otherwise quiet. So long marches the theme of the day for New Oxford uh, for Southwestern. Colonials first and 10 at their own 30. They need a score and they need one quickly. And then you probably see one side kick attempt if they can do it. Good for seven yards. That was Cameron Herring. Cameron Herring again. Twenty one yards on the catch. First and ten, New Oxford, 8.20 to go. They've got two timeouts left. Holmes able to turn the corner, move the chains again to stop the clock. 12 more yards for Brennan Holmes. A 
another first down, first and 10. So Colonials moving quickly, trying to get within 10. Akins moves the pile. Got about seven. Thirteen carries, seventy-five yards for Britton Akins. Second and three. They're moving quickly. Intercepted. Off the deflection. Ogden. One man to beat. Akins, sure tackle at the 21 yard line. So that's backbreaker. Ogden, an interception and a 57 yard return. So Southwestern has it at the New Oxford 25. And that is deflating to say the least. First and 10, Southwestern. They lead 24 to seven. Bull is gonna be tackled for a loss. Great defense by Dominic Payne. Three yard loss, second and 13. You know, you figure Southwestern's gonna keep it on the ground here with a 17 point lead. Let's see what's going on around the area. Gettysburg leads 28-20 with 9.36 to play over Boiling Springs. Susky seven, Berm six. Weisensail, incomplete through the hands of Dickmeyer. Stop the clock with 6.36 to play. Phillies lead the Nationals 4-3. to three. It was a 3-0 lead at one point. JT Realmuto and Reese Hop Hoskins have homered, but just a one run lead, bottom of the seven. Syndergaard went six innings, gave up three earned runs. And a penalty is going to back. Southwestern up 10 yards. 6.36 to play. Timeout, Southwestern. They have one left. have two on, nobody out in the bottom of the seventh. Trying to get some insurance. 
Anvil Cleona 28, Littlestown 14 at the end of the third quarter. Special thanks as always to Josh Martin feeding us the scores. And I learned that Josh covered Biggerville last week, so he wasn't mad at me. He was pretty busy. Great to have the scores from around the league. See how bad I'm doing in the press box picks. But it's not about me. Rollman got about three. Fourth and long. Well, did they punt it here? They haven't punted all night. So that's a measure of how they've been able to dominate time of possession. And they really haven't, you know, it's been mostly with the passing game. So Weisensale, he's been magnificent. Eight different receivers unofficially. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Under six minutes to play, 24 7. It's been all Southwestern here tonight. Weisensale. Looking for the exclamation point. Ah, oh, that oh, come on. No, they can't call that. Looked like the receiver got his feet tangled up with the, the defender. Gettysburg now leads Boiling Springs 35 to 20. Well, let's see about that. Uh, they're going to call interference. It's only a 15 yard penalty. So it might not even be a first down. Uh, unless it's an auto, I don't know if it's an automatic first down. We'll see. Yeah, they have it. Fourth in a yard. So penalties have hurt New Oxford tonight. They, very few penalties last week against Gettysburg. Looks like the Warriors have a shot to go to two and one. Bull is not going to get it. So the Colonials will take over on downs. Uh, hold everything. There's a flag on the play. Personal foul. Wow. So that'll pick up the first down. Eighty-four yards and penalties against New Oxford. That's not been a strong point, obviously, for them tonight. Sometimes a team gets, you know, enamored with success, and they are too impressed with their own clippings. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Southwest is obviously very good, so you can't just say it's a flat effort by New Oxford. But interesting how the strategy unwound here tonight when uh, New Oxford came out. Uh, <laughs> Well, the Phil somehow scored a run. 5-3, they lead in the bottom of the seventh. Dalton Guthrie with his second RBI single. This is an infield single. So New Oxford starts at its own 10. 90 yards to go with 527 to play. They still have two timeouts left, but they trail by 17. You need a quick strike. 
Holmes got about seven. So he's over 100 yards, 103 yards for Brennan Holmes. Shriver has been quiet tonight, not a catch. And he'll probably be frustrated by that. Holmes again. Six more yards. So they stop the clock to move the chains. Incomplete. Clock stop. Five fourteen. Second and ten. Long odds here for the Colonials. Holmes caught the pass, but looks like it's going to be another personal foul against New Oxford. And if it is, it'll give them 99 yards and penalties. And it was another personal foul. 99 yards and penalties against New Oxford. Looks like another personal foul on New Oxford back in the net. And the third for the Colonials. Well, next week, East Pennsboro comes to Gettysburg as the Warriors look like they'll go to two and one. Aikens gets about six yards. Fourth and 13. Well, you can't, you really can't punt it away here. Oxford wants to consider their options here. Fourth and 13 with 4.31 to go and a 17 point deficit. Susquehannock leads Bermudian 14 6 with 10 minutes to play. Berm still looking for their first win. So the Phils head to the eighth with a 5-3 lead. Can they hold it? Dave Robertson blew it. Ninth inning lead, and they lost to Miami yesterday, but a costly error by Reese Hoskins, who grounded out to end the bottom of the seventh, but the Phils scored at a much needed insurance run, and they lead by two. The game they really need is the Brewers are within Two and a half of the final wild card. Right now, the Brewers trail Cincinnati 5 2. Fourth and three, they're going to go for it. Moore throws it down the field, incomplete. 
There are no flags. Now there's a flag in the backfield. Could be roughing, uh, are they gonna call holding? Again, it's gonna be declined. So it goes as an incompletion for Moore. And Southwestern will take over on downs. At the New Oxford 21, and uh, Colonials have a timeout left. I guess they'll use it after this play, maybe. First and ten, bowl the setback with Wises. Oh, no, it's Dorenzo. Dorenzo off the right side. He's got about three yards. New Oxford just does, does not call a timeout. So it looks like the, the Ox will drop the Two and one in Southwestern. The bright light in the area as they get ready to go to three and oh. Another convincing victory for head coach Tony Shermeyer and his assistants Tom Trone, Andy Burwagger, Bob Utz, Jason Zinn, Bobby Whittleson, Jake Jarrell Burnett, and Jack Carter. Rollman got a couple. And it's third and about six. 3.20 to go. New Oxford not bothering to call timeout. Renzo is going to be short of the marker. Got about two more yards. Fourth down and about three for Southwestern. Roman thought he was in the lineup, but he's not. Special thanks to our gold sponsors. Post 262, Ketterman Electric, Mr. G's, Kenny's Market, and McDonald's. Thank you one and all for your support. Thank you, Brandon Glorioso, for your usual yeoman job, technical proficiency. Time out, Southwestern, that's their last. 2.03 to go, and uh, you know, they, they don't really care about scoring any more points. Southwestern, they, they'd love to pick up the first down, and that would be their 20th of the night. That's pretty impressive effort by the Mustangs. The Steeds, whatever you want to call them, they weren't horsing around. They were got down to business and put a stranglehold in this game at halftime and really never let go. Wise and Sale, 
keeps it himself. And it looks like he's got the first down. Well, maybe he is short. I mean, short of the first down. Now they're saying he's got it. So the 20th first down. Wise and sale. 12 carries for 41 yards. And another 189 yards passing. Pretty, he's our player of the game. Max Wise and sale, the quarterback for Southwestern. And now it'll just be kneel down time. Delay of game. Kneel down time. They might have to snap it one more time. Well, special thanks to Brandon Glorioso. Special thanks to all you fans for tuning in. Next Friday night, it'll be East Pennsboro at Gettysburg as the Warriors will look to go to three and one. And New Oxford will look to regroup. And that should do it. The final score. New Oxford is defeated by Southwestern 24 17. Anvil 42, Littlestown 14. Josh has a note about uh, Mike Max Weisensale's father, Mick, an uh, excellent Hanover Raider South Penn League baseball player. Well, the final. Southwestern moves to 3-0. They defeat New Oxford for Brandon Glorioso. I'm Jeff Cook. See you next Friday night, sports fans. Good night. <laughs>